Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We're playing some Naya again. And uh, just a forewarning, I already just went up against Gabriel, and they quit before. Once they saw their hand, they just quit the game. I don't like that. I don't like you seeing a bad hand and not wanting to mulligan, so you just redo. So we're up against them. And this is a great hand. You know, this is a good hand. Uh, but hopefully they're not petty, and we have a quick leave or anything like that. Uh, I feel like... That's the kind of player they were, or showed to be right now at least, so... I'm not going to judge too harshly, but I don't like when you join a match and then they're just like auto-leave as soon as they see their hand. It's kind of suspicious. Kind of suspicious. Kind of sus. Seeker of the way. We got the red-white going on. Good old Boros Heroic. Hmm. Choices. Well, let's just get in there with the gem hide. And another Sidewinder. And we can really pop off next turn if they leave our creatures alone. We'll see. Uh, they, can, they can lay down some hurt pretty fast, so... Another Seeker. Okay. We can at least tack into those. Alright, send up their mana with the Boros Garrison. Popping back the... What? The Plains. Pass to me. I would love a Haste Sliver right now. That'd be dope too, so we can at least start getting in for some damage. But Plated 2 Lords next turn is going to be nasty. Oh, they're getting in there? Oh. That's kind of dumb. Kind of want to chump that, but... I'm not gonna. Ooh, leave the stampede. It's a wonderful sight. And... Bang, bang, bang. Get in there for a little bit. Bunch of three fours. They're gonna have to... Use double removal if they want to kill something, probably, now. Still got a good hand, good-sized hand. They're going to drop that planes this turn. Thraben. Going to go searching for some answers, I guess. If they crack this right now. They could gain some life here, though. Just gonna pass. Another predatory is big. So do I want to attack in? Ah, uh, they could have two spells, but we have a bunch of flanking. So I think we're in a pretty good spot to to get going here. Let's just get going. This is a lot of damage. They might be able to do some work on, like, one of our lords. You're gonna have to, like, double block and, like, kill one. Which isn't out of the picture, but... Prismatic. That's nice. Definitely gonna call white here. Yes, 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 yes. Prowess, we get it. Just say wait. Come on. Shows white. So double block our lord. Or triple block, I guess, if they want to. 
or they're just gonna not do anything wait you've got why wouldn't you blow <laughs> you could have gained like six life at least your guys wouldn't have died you have protection you just went to nine for nothing okay that was a misplay they got protection from white they can just block our creatures and gain some life at least I don't know why they would have done that they're gonna gain some anyways but they got three cards in hand they can flash back the prismatic oh monarch time huh how nice for you okay let's see what we get here I want that monarch A thriving Heath huh throw it down we'll call red <laughs> okay well cancel I guess I want to see my it's just not all right begin sideboarding fine it's fine all right so heroic switch response Heroic plays with that one guy, so we'll take in him just so we can block in the sky if we need to. Flaring Pain for the Prismatics. Do I want my own Prismatic? I don't think so. Hunter. Striking. Move a Winding. Do I want Hunter at all? No, nah, we could take out Hunter. Take out... Man, I don't know what else to take out here. Uh, drop my other Sentinel. I could drop a Plated. Drop one Gem Hide. Just one. Kind of want my other Sentinel in here, but maybe it's not required. Sure. Let's try it. Let's try it like this. All right, if you're not happy with your hand, Gabriel, just mulligan. So all we're looking for is a mulligan. That's it. See if they... Alright, there we go. Well, this is an interesting hand. But we can keep it. It's just a little slow. Might be too slow. Honestly. Yeah, we're just gonna go white on this one. So I want to get down my other thriving grove. We'll call red on that one for the heart sliver. Faithless looting. see what they dump they dumped a prismatic and another faithless looting kind of like that play prismatic still going to be there for them so that's pretty nice and they set up with the boros garrison all right that is going to help us out quite a bit i think Call red on this just in case. Let's put down Sidewinder. Go, go, go. Seeker of the Way coming in. Plated. So. 
Go Hunter. Oh, I messed this up. <laughs> oh, I'm so foolish. I messed that up. I need to play gem hide first. So for some reason, I was like, yeah, I'll just play gem hide and then everything will just tap for mana. But I didn't have the, enough mana for it. Uh, oops, my bad. That was a mistake. Uh, I'm not... No, we're not going to attack in right now. Uh, hopefully our heart sliver survives. I wanted to combo out a, a little bit nicer on that one. I should have went gem hide into heart, into plated into lord, into whatever. That was the correct line. That's the line you want to take with heart, but for some reason I just wanted to get my boys hasty before it was time. Tap myself out of mana for no reason. Lightning bolts. I kind of figured they had that, and I'm totally fine with them hitting plated here, unless they have like another lightning bolt to hit my heart. Um, but if we can power out with heart next turn, it's gonna be pretty nice. Just don't kill my heart. That is as blowout. That is a blowout. And that is definitely on me because we would not have been in that position for Electric Creed to take out our board. We would have had a Lord out. They could have killed our Lord. But Electric Creed wouldn't have killed us. We still would have had like a Plated. Unless they had like another Lightning Bolt. But ooh, that hurts. That really hurts. Okay. Well, let's just set up with gem hide, I guess. We'll get out gem hide, we'll get out muscle. Pass, start refilling, start grinding stuff out. Ooh, that was a bad blowout. I paid for that one. Definitely. Three cards in hand, a lot of land coming out. They've only got one white, something to keep in mind. Right now, we're just going to play patient, just set up our board as much as possible. We're at 16, I can take a little bit. I'm not going to block this, obviously. I'm not going to do anything with it. Okay. Second main, what you got? Journey to nowhere, my lord. Why wouldn't you just do that before? I don't really see the reason why you wouldn't. I, I guess... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe they've got the reasons. They must have some kind of instant in hand, otherwise they wouldn't have been prepping for that. That attack. Okay, we're gonna go... Lead. Sidewinder and a sinew, and we lose our swift response. Not the best. Let's just work with what we've got here. Pass, we still got a winding way. Our health is fine. I want them to drop another land here. That would feel nice. I got Faithless Looting. Sure, sure. Let's see what they dump. Rapid 
Rally the peasants. Creatures you control get plus two, plus zero, and they can flash it back, and they have a journey. Okay, we're getting hit for four again. We got all these nice flashback cards. I like the synergy with these flashbacks. Rally the peasants. I don't think I've seen that one in the heroic. This is Boros heroic, though. Gotta keep that in mind. This isn't mono white heroic. Take the four, go to ten. Oh, this game would be so much different. Creature. Yeah, alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, we can we can do some things with this. And to top it all off, we will go ahead and play our striking. All right, two cards in hand. We've got a bunch of three threes with first strike. I feel a little bit better now. But you never know what will happen. You never know. I'm kind of in the mood to freaking just like triple bock this sucker and just kill it because I've only gotten one creature so far. So it's like, if we kill this, I mean, what else are they going to do? Faithless looting again. Costs three to flashback. Just got to keep that in mind. So they discarded another Prismatic Strands and a Battle Screech. And there's their other Seeker. Go on, attack in. Oh, thought I had you. Another refill is fan freaking tastic here. Any order. All right, our lead the stampedes are gone, but we've got some stuff we can do now. They are tapped out. We have a very nice board and we're gonna get some poisonous down. Let's get in there. If we need to jump block, we will. It's time to get in for some damage. Time to get in for some poisonous. Holy crap, we put him to 12. That is gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Ooh, I need to be careful, though. I need to be very careful. So I actually got kind of lucky on that because they could potentially try to like, if they if they get the right board, they could set up for like a crazy like double prismatic where they can just call green and white and like swing in for lethal or something crazy. But this is good for now. They're in a rough spot though. Like they need to a way to they tapped out big. Tapped out really big. What do you got for me? Battle Screech. That's good. That's good for them. Bad for us. Wait, is it bad for us? They're going to be doing a lot of blocking next turn, that's for sure. Draw a card. I 
Wow, that extra Viverlin is going to be nasty for them. I think we just have it here. So they can... Prismatic... Green... Block, block... I am just going to swing like, I want to present lethal. Go like this. I just don't want to, mm -hmm. we got chump blocker, we have a chump blocker here for white, but if they get rid of this. Then we're in some trouble. It's an interesting spot we're in. I'm pretty sure poisonous kills him, right? Or no, because we're not dealing damage. Um, hmm. Try not to run into another instance from my last Pioneer video, or last Friday's Pioneer video, where I swing out too much, and I get hit on the swing back. Um, I'm just trying to make sure we're not going to get blown out by a prismatic on green if they, like, remove this guy. So maybe I... Mm-hmm. I could go like this. Still present lethal, but hold back two whites. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. I just want to be extra careful. I still want to present lethal on this attack so they're forced to do something. I just don't want them to, like, double remove my white and then swing in for lethal on my green. Do your prismatic? Please? Okay, thank goodness. Just forcing them to use a little bit, you know. And they're going to call green. So we'll kill one of their birds. Okay. Pass to them. Plenty of blockers. I feel pretty safe. But they do have four cards. I don't know. Some of it is a little ske sketchy on mine, my part. Thraben. All right, that's good. That's fine. Crack in the clue. Okay. Gain a life. Okay, okay. They're making things work. Two mana. It's a good game. It's a good match. Just getting in with the flying. Okay. For nine. Not for nine. We go to nine. <laughs> I draw another card. That costs three. They do have three for Rally the Peasants. Okay. Such an interesting place we are in.
I think we can attack with all our gem hides. can just call green all right so they can rally the peasants right creatures of control get plus two plus zero but the first strike so these will get buffed to three but then they can prismatic so they get buffed to four I wish I had another, like, white go hard with right now. Maybe I'd just do attacks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Um, hmm. Can I attack with one more to really present some hard decisions? That's the question. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna attack like this. Force them to try to use a prismatic or something. Uh, I just want to hold back some things because I don't want to get blazed by these seekers on the way back again i'm still kind of worried about some kind of play they might have but let's see what they do with this three mana they can get their guys big i mean they can make some decent blocks maybe try to get rid of our uh Viverlance or something like that but they'll block here and then they'll prismatic the rest okay they're gonna block that one okay sure triple block sure I'll be more than happy to get rid of one of your so well, I'm not gonna get rid of the seekers not if they call green so one of our vivalents will die we got double flanking out right now no Prismatic with the Thraben. Maybe I should just be forcing with my white creatures. I'm just sketched out by doing it because I don't want to get... I don't want to get blown out. I'm just playing extra cautious by holding back my white. Maybe some people are going to be telling me, like, should have attacked him with your white, you could have presented lethal or something like that. I'm just playing extra cautious because I don't want to get caught up on them removing just our two white creatures and then just dying. Uh, if we had more white creatures, I'd definitely be in attacking in more. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, I'll keep the land in my hand for now. Make them think we have something. This uh, Monarch's getting annoying, though. They're drawing too many cards with this thing. That's frustrating. Let me take a look here. Another Thraven. I thought we lost all three of our Lead the Stampedes. We actually do have one more somewhere. Oh, whoa. My camera did it again. It hasn't done it in forever. Alright, another Seeker. That's sketchy as well. They just got me on a nine turn clock right now, basically. But as far as I know, we don't know what's in their hand. They have four cards in hand. They could have another Prismatic. Who knows? We're just drawing lands now.
So let's say they rally the peasants and they gain 5, 10, 15 life. So we're not really presenting lethal if they can gain a bunch of life, which is again why I don't want to like. Don't want to swing like crazy. They've just got a, they've got a lot of cards, man. It sucks. I kind of want to swing with like one more creature. So I can try to like steal the monarch. For a turn, just get an extra card draw. I'm at eight. If I swing in like this. It's risky, man. It's risky. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It's a very tough game. I'm like trying to think ahead, but like what do they got in their hand type deal? Maybe I just attack like this. <laughs> just try to apply some pressure. Alright, we're just going to do an attack like this. I don't know. I'm taking a long time. But this is a, this is a tough one. They did have another prismatic. Okay. That's rough. These prismatics are a pain in the butt. I should be applying pressure, right? Like, I gotta be applying the pressure a little bit. Get rid of my... What did they call here? They chose green. I'm gonna triple block this. Okay. And then block with the Thraben. Sure, sure. Stupid Thrabens are just giving them those extra little blockers and card draws. It is quite annoying. And one, one piece of removal 
is really going to be devastating to us because it'll just open us up. That's bad. That puts us on a way lot bigger clock. Okay. That's really bad. So they can kill us next turn. Because they can go Squadron Hawk, Squadron Hawk. Yeah. They can go Squadron Hawk into Squadron Hawk. Uh, hit me for one. Put me to seven. And then they can rally the Peasants Flashback next turn. To hit me for six. Or more than that, actually. Yeah, so we're pretty much dead here. Maybe I should have left in Hunter. Yeah. Get in there for that one. Looks like we might be going to game three. It's one of those rare cases where the game goes long and it's not actually Tron. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, that is a clutch draw. As long as they can't take this out, <laughs> we survive. Yeah, we're just going to pass now. Because they can, still can flash back that prismatic. So I don't want to get in trouble with that. And Spinneret's got the extra defense. He's a 5-5. Five, five. Crack a clue. Try to find like a journey or something. Ooh, that's rough too. That is rough as well. Gosh dang, man. This is a crazy game. And they've got a full hand. Full hand. How can we apply some pressure without getting killed from the Squadron Hawks? Two, three, four. Can't block the Guardian. He can block. They can't... There's a lot that kills us here. I'm just going to pass. There's a lot that kills us. He can rally the Peasants on the Guardian and, like, Lightning Bolt us or something. That's basically what kills us here. Two, four, and then, yeah. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. He found a way to sneak in still with that guild pack. It's gnarly. Do they have another rally? they have enough to rally me out here? Yeah, I think it's what uh, I think it's what I said. Uh, they've got the lightning bolt. And they can just lightning me. Let's make sure they got it. Yep, alright. Cool, we will go to game three. Super good game. Oh, that's an intense one. All right. Maybe we want our own prismatic at this point. Maybe it's kind of foolish of me not to bring it in. 
Maybe cut one flaring. And we could cut a plated. How necessary is relic even? Just to like get these prismatics out of there. All right, we'll run it like this. Um, let's see what happens. This is an interesting one, but it's fun. Yes, we'll play first. Give me a good hand. Winding way, leave the stampede with an Ash Baron's keep. Pass. We are going to Ash Baron's for white. Or do I want to? Yeah, because we don't... We've only got three cards for red. Heart, flaring, and striking. Yeah, I still want to give white. It's more important here. Okay. Let's get our board going, shall we? Faithless looting. Uh-oh, they're going to set up that prismatic play again. Don't you do it. Yep, prismatic and the battle screech. Hmm. Yeah, let's get our Lord down. Start refilling next turn. Get in for a little bit. Start getting that early poisonous. I'm just trying to... I'm going to have to rewatch that second game and see what else I could have done. Maybe I was playing too cautiously. I don't know. Let me know if you guys find a line... Um, that I could have taken that might have forced their hand or done something. It was just tricky with all those prismatics. Uh, but if you guys do see a line or a turn, make sure to timestamp it for me so I can jump to that, uh, that turn. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, we're going to lead. We got refills for days. This is great. Holy cow. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I think we just won this one straight up. Straight up now, and he's down to four minutes. He's not going to be happy with what I'm about to do. No siree, he is not going to be happy. I can go Gemite into, yeah, I can just do all of this. Let's just dump it. This is gnarly. Oh, what a great heart. Now that's how you want to redeem yourself on a heart sliver, okay? That's the redemption heart sliver we needed right there. I don't think they can recover from this now. They got a Thraven Spectator. They don't even have their, their guy out yet. Good old Boris, Boros Monarch, putting up the good fight. This has always been a, a tough match for us, honestly, but it this um, hasn't been around for a while. Like, I haven't played it in a minute, you know? All right, so they can tap for a Prismatic. They can call green. They still are, and they can block. Yeah, it's 
It's not pretty. Uh, let's winding way. Because I think I might just want to swing out here. That's nice. I will put down the Lord for some extra damage. And we'll tap. make everything they do bad. Uh, we're just going to swing. Swing, swing, swing. Call your prismatic, but it is going to be fruitless come next turn. Unless we just kill them here. Let's see. They call... They got to call white now. Call white. Block two green. Take eight. And a bunch of poisonous. Well, just a couple poisonous. Oh no, they're taking more. Take eight. They still survive, but they're going to take a lot. And they're only blocking one? Well, this might just be a concession. I don't know. I'm not really, really doing the math here, but we're just super ahead, you know? Yeah, what did they call? They could have survived another turn for sure. Oh, I can't see. Oh, man send me a message I want to see how do I see it I can't see it Gabriel Maya great game man great game super good game well we were just getting refills for days holy cow well, that was a great game. Leave a like for that one. Make sure to subscribe for more Popper Slivers, more stuff like this. That was awesome. fan freaking tastic um, Yeah, leave a like. Smash the like button for that one. That was, a, that was an awesome game. And yeah, like I said, if you see where I could have maybe applied more pressure or forced some things differently in game two, I know that was a tricky one, uh, but let me know in the comments below and leave a timestamp so I can go check it out. Because uh, this is a longer video, so I don't want to search necessarily. <laughs> but yeah, leave a like for that, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. More Pioneer coming up on Friday.